Okay, let's talk about harvesting. In Ryzen, you have two vastly different methods to, to dig at high level, and uh, they revolve around a fundamental difference. Either you want to kill your node early before the timer expires, or you don't want to kill it. The first method is called kill digging, and the second one is called two-step. Okay, I'm going to focus on kill digging, but before I do that, of course, I should focus for a bit on uh, my own prospecting actions and care planning. So, this is my dig bar. It has two separate continent actions, one for desert, it's prefixed with D, and one for jungle. I'm going to ignore the second half, that's all jungle, and instead these are my um, my desert ones. Actually this one I can just delete, it's temporary. Okay, so about prospecting it's really straightforward. I simply use all the stanzas that, are, that I find are the best. So I, I use my maximum angle, this would be for a master 360, but for you it's going to be whatever level you have. I use the maximum of sources that, that I can pop, uh, the fastest prospection, of course, the specialization timer. This is actually important, but not for kill digging, but for two-step. Uh, we'll come to that later in, a, in another video, maybe. Now, um, the material type I use up to choice. I believe this is the best for um, grinding levels. If you don't really care about the grade of the material, you know you're not going to dig excellent or supreme for once because supremes you don't find on continents and excellent because they have some restrictions like weather, time of day, season and so on and so forth. Unless you want a particular excellent material you should not be leveling on this grade. So you're left with up to choice. Some people prefer to dig only choice but I found in a uh, lots of level 250 regions in the highest level regions that the choice deposit can be emptied quite fast so instead of waiting around waiting for the deposit to refill you can simply keep your your action to, for, to up to choice and um, keep digging um, it doesn't really matter what knowledge you use of course if you use knowledge 3 you're going to see the material grade right uh, when you pop it otherwise you're just going to know you popped this or that and of course at high level you're expected to have all this uh, specializations for uh, prospecting all the minor and major uh, and the subtypes and so on okay for this example I'm, dig I'm going to dig seed but it doesn't really matter Lastly, I will note that I use range 3 on this action and I have a separate action that is almost identical to the other except it does not have any range. The effect, of course, is that, for instance, I can use uh, the first one to prospect at quite a large range around me. Um, I believe this is 40 meters. Actually 20. Okay, that 20 is plenty. And then, once I found a node, I can simply sit on front of it, or in, on top of it, and use my second action, and find several more nodes that are just nearby. Of course, I, ha I forgot to adjust this action, it was um, still tuned for excellent. There we go. Okay, my care planning actions are quite straightforward. This one is, uh, it has the terrain specialization, has the material specialization, and is going to, to heal both node life and stability. Of course, the maximum that I have for you, it might be lower. You still want to have an action that uses both of these at, the, at their m maximum level, at the best level you have currently. The other action is um, only for stability and this is actually the one I'm going to use in kill digging. I don't want to heal my node's life back 
my point is to kill the node. Okay. Now, you are already familiar, I hope, with this window. It says how much available extraction time you have, how many materials are in the node. In this one there are 17 maximum. If I keep digging after I have 17, I'm going to get nothing else. Okay, the source life and the extraction risk. If this bar goes all the way down to zero, my node could blow up or it could um, it could gas. Okay, and the last one is the chemi tolerance. You don't really care about it. Okay. So I have four actual actions for dig. Um, I think about them like gears on a car. Maybe it's not the best comparison, but they are not ordered in a way that you would find natural. So for instance, my default action is actually the no number three. And uh, I use other actions after it, depending on the situation. So number three for a max level digger is um, using a harmful rate. I found that using gentle rate is not really useful. Your node uh, characteristics are still going to go down very fast regardless. So there's no point going gentle. It, it would use more focus and uh, that's not nothing I would want. But I do have a gentle speed and a gentle quality. Now this is very important because this makes them um, makes those last two bars node life and the extraction risk they they only go down in a natural way at uh, in a way that corresponds to um, the let's say the mode that you're digging in that's another concept that i'm not going to cover but you can see the the mode in um, system info you'll see in a moment what i'm talking about Okay, so using this is uh, just, as I said, the default way to dig. You could dig your whole life only with this action and it, it would be all right. Um, of course, you, you're going to have different maximum speed and different maximum quality depending on your, on your level. What you do need, aside from those three, these are mandatory, you have to fill them in. You have to, to use desert specialization and this material specialization. This one is particularly important because it makes your node quality rise much faster. When you start digging, okay, one moment. When you start digging a node, you don't start at your maximum quality. You don't start at level 250. Instead, your node starts at about 20 or something like that and it slowly climbs up until after some swings of your pick you reach 250 so adding this material specialization makes that climb much faster in turn it allows you to go more aggressive after a shorter period and to end the node life faster okay so as i said this action is nice it uses 250 focus if you are careful and a bit lucky, this is all the only thing you, you will ever need. Now, my fourth action is similar. It, uh, it still has a gentle quality. However, it uses a harmful speed. Moreover, it doesn't have the material specialization. So I only use this action after I have reached very close to my target quality. So if my target is 250, I will switch to this one if and only if I'm at 230, 240. Uh, the advantage is that the focus cost is a bit lower. It's only 220. So it, it sort of conserves my focus. And on top of that, using a harmful speed Using harmful speed makes your node life go down a bit faster than the gentle version of speed. So this is basically what you use to speed up the killing of the node. 
The second action I don't use very much, it's basically gentle everywhere. I have uh, the specialization, I have this um, absorbing source damage that I have in uh, the default one too. I skipped it because it's uh, unimportant. You have to do a specific write to get this, actually two writes, and uh, it doesn't really contribute much. So you have it, you don't have it, it doesn't change a thing for the purpose of this video at least. So this action, I only have it for those times when I'm digging with a much lower character and I'm digging their nodes. So uh, let's say I'm digging with a level 100 person and they want to level faster. So they prospect, I dig what they prospect, they get experience from me. On top of that, they can dig their own nodes meanwhile, so they get twice the, the experience in the same amount of time. But of course, being level 100, they will not have material prospections. So they will be popping everything all over the place. So considering deposits can have up to five different material types. For instance, this one has uh, wood nodes, has wood, has uh, resin, amber, seed, five types. So if they pop around, I will not be um, bothered to s switch around the material specialization in my default action. So instead, I'm just going to dig nicely and slowly, a bit more, a bit slowly, only rate five, but gentle and um, take their nodes with this one, without any specialization. I'm going all gentle, of course, because I'm, I don't have the material specialization. So what happens is that my node quality is going to climb a bit slower. So I, I don't want to end my node life prematurely before I reach 250. So I have to dig more gentle. Just ignore this for, for the time being and let's go for the last one. This is all aggressive. It's purpose, basically you don't even need it. Uh, I, I make it because I'm a sort of lazy person or rather a lazy, an aggressively lazy person that likes to end the node life as soon as possible. So. I use this one, all aggressive, when I actually want to end a stubborn node. It happens sometimes when the mode of digging, I can't remember right now, I think in, in mode 0, node life is going to be very stubborn and refuse to die. The node will just refuse to end. So I will run out of focus from all my uh, default actions and aggressive actions and if I'm still having trouble I sit down for a bit I only need to regenerate up to 112 focus and then I can start digging again using this naturally I do not want material specialization because it reduces the aggressiveness of speed tells us and my point is precisely to be as aggressive as possible now, one more point, the fact that I'm using the harmful version of quality means that my risk is going to shoot down, all the way down very fast. So I have to be very careful with this one and try not to blow up myself or kill everyone around me. Still, I find the action useful and um, at times it's been a, it's been a real lifesaver. Okay, so let's prospect again and see these um, actions in use. Okay, I have some seeds around, I'm going to prospect again. This time in a circle around me. Uh, using this too in a um, series uses about 700 focus. I regenerate a bit already, so I have a restore focus action for 500. I like this one because it's really on a short cooldown, two minutes. So by the time I finish digging all of these nodes, I have my uh, my focus healing back online. Okay, so let's start this node for instance. I start with a default. You can see it started at about quality 44. It's climbing quite fast. 
However, I have a slight problem. The extraction risk is going down, so I will allow this action to go twice and then go aggressive already because source life is actually uh, a bit stubborn. It's still climbing nicely. It's uh, it reached 250, so I will heal again and try the, my most aggressive action. There we go. As you could see, uh, the extraction risk was going down fast too, but thankfully for me it didn't matter. Okay. So when I reached target quality 250, the source mode changed. It was something else previously and now it was 5. You will have to search the forums for yourself or ask in the universe chat or whatever, you will find some information about the source mode. For all intents and purposes, I just ignore it. It doesn't really matter. It's just something else that you could keep an eye on if you wanted. However, your end purpose is clear. End the node life. So regardless of source mode, you can just observe this bars in front of you and that should be good enough. Okay, here's some choice seed. This um, choice seeds and embers in this particular spot are desperately tricky to find actually. I believe the deposit is about 40 materials before it goes depleted. Okay, this time my aggressive action made the source life shut down very fast. So I'm only at 224. I still need 3 or 4 swings of the pick to reach 250 so I will switch back to the default action it still makes life go down slowly very slowly okay now I'm at the target and I can go back to something more aggressive and there we go digging one node should take much less than a minute I, I can't really tell you a sweet spot maybe 30 seconds maybe 45 seconds but uh, doing this aggressively should not take a long time. Again, source life is um, is being stubborn, so I will heal back the risk and go all aggressive. One thing, you must be very, um, very fast, very alert. Either cancel the actions pressing Control s or you can rebind the action with uh, something else. I use Control s for cancelling. Or you could uh, just really click fast around. That's up to you. Or you could use the keys, of course, to queue up the next type of action. So, for instance, my node life was going very f down very fast, so I stopped it, but you could have just as well pressed Shift 3 to heal back the life for a bit and then start digging again. Okay, this node is actually very tricky. Well, it, it seems the node life uh, ended before the source life and that's because I stopped it for quite a few times and uh, of course it ran out, but I took way more than one minute. So there's that. Okay, I'm going to dig just a few more nodes. Uh, I believe you already have have a good feeling about this method, but of course um, it, it should not hurt. Okay, again I prospected. I'm healing back. I have most of my focus. By the way, I have this much focus because I'm using a special pick that gives you plus 200. I'm using nice jewels plus 165 and nice armor. Otherwise your maximum focus as a master is going to hover at about 5000, 5100 or 200. I'm not sure off the top of my head. Still, even with uh, less focus, you're, you're still going to be able to dig using only the default action and this uh, care plan actions that I've outlined here.
of course this um, way of digging is actually nice even with an alt okay this is too fast I believe I'm not going to reach target quality so I might as well heal it up a bit and then okay I, I shouldn't have let it go for two actions one action was enough to heal life just a bit doing it twice was a bad idea of course I can try to fix up my mistake by using this all aggressive action it only uses 100 focus so I can swing the pick 15 times without problem yeah it doesn't even need that because it's, uh, it's bringing life down ASAP so I mentioned the extraction time bonus and you will have I believe you will never have any reason to use anything more than three or four it can go up to seven but uh, even for kill digging it's not that useful you will see and especially in this type of um, of kill digging I think I wanted to say to step earlier I'm confused but especially in kill digging you do not want extra time consider for a moment that you might not dig by yourself like I'm doing but you might be digging with an alt or with a second person who wants to get experience from you by uh, care planning so instead of letting you care plan when you need they will just care plan automatically for the entirety of your node so if they do that of course you will want someone who, who uses action number two only with stability but however if they for due to some error whatever they use this one they use preservation you will end up with your node life barely moving with your node quality at 250 and with no focus because this ones use a lot of focus so what do you do in such a case you just sit down nicely you use the time to school them so you tell them why that was a bad idea and um, just wait for node time to end so the least node time you have the better for you because in such cases you're not going to wait forever the difference um, it's not actually huge but it it does add up if someone makes several mistakes in a row for instance using extraction time bonus 3 would be 10 seconds whereas bonus 7 is 30 seconds that's 20 seconds of your life that you're not getting back and that you will uh, miss okay so this is pretty much it about kill digging you can um, kill dig using someone else's nodes it's um, it doesn't really matter sadly I'm already a master so you can't see my experience it's I don't really want to lie to you so take this with a huge grain of salt it's uh, experience for killing a node is about 1700 something like that and of course it gets doubled by uh, permanent catalyzers instead uh, using a two-step digging method is it's going to be slower but it's going to yield much more experience something closer to 2500 something like that I'm not really sure but I remember doing such experience when I was leveling jungle okay so this is pretty much it see you next time when I'm going to talk about two-step goodbye <laughs>